Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I got some news about the Flash Forge 85X that has been uh, a long time coming. So I know a lot of people are wondering, when are you going to be able to buy this printer? What is taking so long? All that good stuff. Well, now we know that a date has been set. Flash Forge is going to make available for purchase the 85X starting on June 9th. 2025. So as of right now, that is less than a week from today. And the price right now is still going to be the same as it always was. So $399. And then they also got some special things going to kind of entice you to purchase uh, this printer directly from their website, including a coupon that you can get that's going to get you $30 off of this printer. So it's going to knock it down to $369. And then in addition to that, I'm looking on their website now. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Um, they're also going to be giving a free upgrade, a free 0.4 millimeter nozzle upgrade uh, so that's also going to be coming along with this printer so in order for you to get that $30 coupon they got this survey that they have on their website so they want you to complete that survey um, or follow them on social media in order to get it and then they have this other thing here that says that you can get five percent off filaments and accessories for life if you buy the 85x in the month of June so that's not all the news because they actually did some changes to this printer and that would kind of explain why it took so long to bring it back on sale. You got to remember the first set of these printers went out last year in November. This printer is a part of that first run and then they just held it back until they did whatever they wanted to do. And now it's coming back out in June and um, it's going to be shipped in mid June. So that's something else that they have listed on their website. But I was speaking to uh, my contact at Flash Force trying to see what's different about this new run of printers. And I got some information here that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to just sort of read it off my phone. Now, the first thing that's changing, you guys have probably noticed, is that the spool holders are going to be different on the upcoming 85X printers compared to the one that I have here. So they've altered those spool holders and my assumption is that they're gonna be better compatible with all different types of spools, including these cardboard spools. Because as I pointed out in my previous video where I talked about the bugs of this printer and things that could be improved, one of the things was these old style, I guess you can say at this point, um, filament spool holders, they would grind the inside of these cardboard spools and it would leave dust on the spool. And of course that dust can fall down and get onto your other filaments. And then that can pass through to the hot end, might cause clogs or the kind of like nasty stuff. So they've changed that up. So that is going to be good. And also if you already purchased this printer before, Flash Forge is saying that they're going to send everyone who purchased this printer before those new style of spool holders. So that is very good to see. Now, another thing that I got here is it says that the printers that are purchased from June also going to include some other hardware optimizations, including improvements to the cooling system. And then there's also an improvement to the nozzles that they use as well to try to reduce clogs. And I believe that's what that upgraded nozzle is about. If you purchase in June from the website, I believe that that new nozzle is going to be the upgraded one that has those improvements. And there may be some other hardware related changes to this, maybe a little bit more minor than what I just said, um, but I'm still kind of waiting to hear back what those things are going to be. But as of right now, it's going to be some additional spool holders. It's going to be some better cooling and there's going to be an upgraded nozzle that you're going to be able to use with this particular printer. And one thing that I do want to point out in this video, so maybe if Flash Forge sees this, they'll be able to maybe do something about it before the printers uh, really start getting out and shipping, is the one of the latest firmwares for this printer. I believe this one is on like version 1.1 something. For some reason, it has completely taken out the 
printer's ability to clean the nozzle. So on the back, there's a nozzle wiper. And for the longest time, it would use that nozzle wiper as part of the printing process as the, uh, the startup procedure before print. And then when it would change colors, it would purge the filament and then it'll wipe that nozzle brush before it resumed printing. But ever since those latest updates, it completely ignores the nozzle wiper completely it never interacts with it not during the startup process because if you can see like right now it will not use the wiper or during filament changes it will also not use the wiper i think that's something that definitely needs to be addressed in an upcoming firmware update because why would the nozzle cleaner be there if you're not going to use it and plus you're using it before so why not continue using it so that's something that needs to be fixed um since i've had this printer I have noticed some other um, bugs since the last video that thankfully FlashForge did fix, such as an odometer error that would cause the print to just pause. And I have no idea what the whole odometer thing was about, but it was a pretty uh, big problem. So I had to downgrade to the previous firmware, but FlashForge was pretty quick at putting out a fix to that that completely eliminated that problem. And now I'm running on the latest firmware. And the only thing that I've seen now that uh, I think needs to be addressed is the whole nozzle wiping thing and the fact that it doesn't do it at this moment. So hopefully they can get that done before these printers start shipping out in uh, mid-June so that that's something that people won't be talking about as opposed to you know all the other things that this printer can do so this is a good printer in the time that I've been using it but I really want to see what it's like with those upgrades I'm supposed to be getting those uh, improved filament holders and uh, the new nozzles so I'll be able to see what if any differences that there may be and if I do see anything like that I will be sure to let you know about it so if you have any questions or comments or opinions about this printer, be sure to leave them down in the comments. So take a look at them. I'll try to answer any and everything that I can if I know it. So that's it for now. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.